This video is to show you how to set up a primary infusion and how to navigate the IV pump. Once I've entered my patient's room, I'm going to wash my hands and ID the patient and do a thorough head-to-toe assessment. During my assessment, I'm going to check LDAs and I'm going to flush the IV um, to check for patency. Before hanging my bag, I'm going to double check my orders and check my lab values. So for this patient, we're just running normal saline, 0.9%. Before we start with the pump, we're going to show you how to set up the pump, the tubing. So this is a primary tubing set. This is a primary tubing set. I'm going to take it out of the package and make sure that all of the clamps are clamped so that fluid isn't leaking everywhere. There are two different ports coming out of the bag. This one is where you would add medication, and this is where we're going to spike the bag. So you can remove that plunger. And when you take the cap off, you want to make sure it doesn't touch anything because it is sterile underneath. So once I've spiked my bag, I find it easier just to hang it. And you're going to fill the drip chamber up about halfway. And at this point, you can carefully release the clamp and make sure you're following the fluid all the way through the line to prime it because if there's air in the line, you can cause an embolism. Okay. Before connecting it to my patient, we're going to set up the pump. So you're going to press systems on. And it asks you if this is a new patient, and it is not. Now it asks which floor you're on, and we're on the medical surgical floor. And then you're going to confirm that. Now it asks you which channel you're going to use, and we're going to use channel A, so you press channel select. If we were using medications, we would press drugs, but we're using IV fluids. And it's going to ask you to double check your med. So we're using 0.9% norm normal saline, which is right here. And it'll just ask you again to double check if this is correct, and we'll say yes. So now for the rate um, of infusion, you should have calculated that before you've come into the room. If it's a medication, a lot of times the rate will be in the IV medication book if it's not already ordered by the provider. So our provider has ordered this to run at 100 mLs per hour, so you're going to select rate and type in 100, and the total volume to be infused is 500. You can take this blue part off, and we're going to open the channel door and insert this like a key and this will filter out any air bubbles and you're going to close it and it's just oh it was beeping at us because the clamp is still done Okay, before connecting it to our patient like I said we want to check the IV site for patency so I'm going to ID my patient again and check their birthday and any allergies they may have I'm going to scrub the hub for 15 seconds. Release the air bubble. And as I'm flushing, I'm going to ask my patient if they feel any burning, and I'm going to visually check for redness or infiltration. Okay, and it appears to be patent. So I'm going to scrub again.
and attach my tubing in again I'm remembering that underneath the cap is sterile so I don't want to bang it against anything okay now that we're ready to start we're gonna release our clamp and press start and now you'll see that it's infusing at 100 mLs per hour.